well, sorry I looked like a mess, but, okay, so, basically, okay, okay, so, basically, um, I'm going to the BTS concert, um, yeah, I've been keeping this a secret for a while, and I actually didn't know how to tell people, I haven't told almost anyone, um, yeah, but I'm leaving tonight, um, it's right now, like, 8 p.m., let me check, Okay, it's not 8 p.m. yet. It's 7.45 p.m. My flight leaves at midnight and I need to be at the airport at uh, 11, 10 30. I don't remember. I'm going with my dad. Um, okay, I just want to make uh, a little vlog video. I've never made one of these before. So I'm kind of nervous actually. But um, I'm, I'm going to try to do my best. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little like what I'm taking with me um, because I didn't want I didn't want to make like what's going to be in my bag because I don't have a bag yet. I couldn't find one here. Um, clear bags are actually quite hard to find uh, where I live. That's what I've noticed, and the few places that did have some were like way too expensive. Like Forever Twenty One, I like looked looked up a lot of videos. People were saying like. Oh yeah, they have them like under twenty dollars, and I was like, okay, that's perfect. Actually, that's pretty okay for a clear bag of a decent brand. That's okay for me. So I went to the Forever Twenty One, the biggest one here, um, with my friend, and we were like checking. Okay, we need to get a clear bag under twenty dollars. Can we make that? And all the bags we found were like twenty eight, twenty nine dollars. Almost there was one that was thirty. But it was uh, over the like size regulations for the stadium. Oh, I'm going to the MetLife uh, concert. Just a little thing. Yeah, but like, uh, we were all like, okay, that's too expensive. I ain't paying for that. Uh, so when I get there, I think I'm going to buy one. I don't know. Maybe I just end up taking my stuff in my pockets. Because I'm that kind of girl right now. And I'm actually taking an outfit that has pockets. I was going to go in a dress. But then I was like, am I the type of girl that's going to go to a concert in a dress? I don't think so. Yeah, my hair is a mess. I went to the salon, but my but my baby hairs always go everywhere. Can you see, can you even see this little fucker? Okay, never mind them. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do the little what I'm taking with me moment. Okay. First of all, the shoes. Since... I'm only like getting there, visiting some family and then going straight to the hotel to get ready. I'm just going to take one pair of shoes because I'm leaving the day after. So I'm just going to be walking around town for a little bit on the concert. So yeah, I really like this. These are actually pretty comfortable. These are some Puma, Fendi by Rihanna, Little Moments. I actually pretty love, love them a lot. <laughs> they, are, they weren't that expensive because... We bought them on sale because I ain't gonna buy them for the five hundred fucking dollars they sell them for. Uh, but well, the thing is that they're a little nasty, so I was going to clean them, but I don't really feel like doing that anymore. So we're just gonna take them like that. Uh, they are five and a half, but these are huge. They're actually big on me. I usually size like a six, six and a half. Oh well. There we go. I'm only taking one pair of shoes. I'm not that girl that's taking like her slippers and all her BD21 merch and stuff because uh, I don't have that much merch actually. Yeah. So the other thing that I'm taking uh, with me, this is what I'm using in the course at the concert. This is the outfit. I was going to make a video deciding the outfit, but I already knew what I, what I wanted to wear. So yeah, I'm taking this crop top. It's tied at the front. It says, don't call him, don't, don't call Sugar, please, my fire, <laughs> sorry about that. It's from H&M. Yeah, it's from H&M, I actually didn't remember that, just remember. Okay, that, that's crop top, then um, a little ripped jean moment. Uh, this is from Forever, these are actually big on me, but I couldn't even bother trying to get new ones. I only have two jeans right now. And this other one is the little flannel I got from the Totemo Kawaii shop haul. If you saw that video, you know where this is from. Um, yeah, I'm wearing this, this because it completes the outfit. And 
uh, the thing is that because it's summer, I think there. Yeah, it's summer there. So, uh, it's summer and it's supposed to be windy, but at the same time, the sun's not really set, and it's actually kind of confusing. I don't like American summers. No, but like, yeah, that's the outfit with the shoes. Now then, I'm uh, my dad asked a friend that lives there, uh, what was like the weather gonna be, and they said, oh, they say it's going the, they're saying it's gonna be like windy and rainy, all week, and I don't know if it was actually raining. My dad never got to ask again, but just in case, and because I love this jacket, it reminds me of the you never walk alone. Um, album, little moment, sugar, or uh, rain jacket as well. Almost this color is not this color, it's a different one. This is just a Columbia oversized winter jacket. It's supposed to be a snow jacket, uh, but it doesn't have the inner like layer. I took it out and it's just a rain jacket now. So, yeah, then what I'm wearing to the airport, I'm just going to be taking uh, some sweatpants. Nice little comfortable and I'm going to be taking a little crop top this is from Stradivarius uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm wearing this one or the long one this is an oversized t-shirt uh, it's just an extra large t-shirt I use and I like to feel <laughs> like I'm a little bean sometimes and I do that I'll probably wear this one Oh uh, well, I probably just used the oversized one at the airport with the uh, sweatpants and this uh, crop one in the city with these normal uh, black jeans. Uh, I think those are from Marshalls. Now, the perfect accessory, the only thing that gives it comfort in this life, uh, my hoodie. Uh, this is my favorite hoodie. It's an over. It's not meant to be an oversized, it's meant to be an oversized hoodie. Um, but my friend got me a large anyway. It's uh, from Pull and Bear. With, it's a collaboration they did with Smiley. Uh, it's the cutest, the softest, and the best thing I own. And yeah, I'll probably wear this at the airport as well. Because here they blast that AC all year round. Yeah, so that's going to go in the corner there. And this is going to go in the back. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Okay. Uh... I'm just going to take carry on bag. It's this bag over here. It's a pink Victoria's Secret bag. It got the little like hoop thingies. I like it very much. It, rem it reminds me a lot of uh, Suga's cap uh, for the wing store. I actually was planning to take that. I'm just going to pick that up real quick. One second. Yeah, so it's this one. It's not the original one, obviously. It's not going to be the original one. I've never been to a BTS concert before, so I'm just gonna take it. Look, that's gonna, yeah, that's it. That's cute as heck, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking that as well. Oop. And okay, little thing is that I'm taking with me. Most important thing of all, the army bomb. Um, I don't know if this is an official army bomb yet. Um, I had my doubts when I saw the bag, and it didn't come with the little carrying bag. I checked and the Amazon reviews were saying, no, they do come with everything. And I reported it, but they haven't gotten back to me. Everything seems okay and it works and it connects to my phone because I've seen videos of people buying like fake army bombs and they don't connect to the app. But this one does. So when I get there, I'm going to check with people that actually know and have like official army bomb spot at the concert menu. I have to check if it's an official one. And if it's not, um, I'm going to have a mental breakdown on me with my fake army bomb all the concert because I actually can't spend more money on a real one. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, that's that. Uh, my hairbrush. I mean, my hair is a mess all year round. If you've seen my study hall videos, you know. No, what? Uh, uh, my study block video, sorry. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. My charger. Essential. This is the sh shortest one I got. It's a uh, six feet, I think. Yeah, this one's six feet one. The ten feet one. The ten feet one. Yeah. It's actually being used right now, and uh, it's actually broken, so I can take it. Um, my wallet doesn't have any money on it right now because I don't have any dollars at the moment. And this is a little toiletry bag uh, where I'm 
I'm taking my makeup as well. I don't use a lot of makeup regularly. I don't even use concealer. And I actually got an awful pimple and I scratched it while I was sleeping. So I have a little mark there. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to use some creams until the night to see if it goes down, which I don't think so. But it doesn't matter anymore because I can always just go to Sephora real quick and have them mask that up real quick. So yeah, while I try to sit that, I want to speak a little bit about my headphones. These are my favorite pair of wireless headsets. They are um, the Hesh 3 uh, by School Candy. Yeah, I actually almost broke mine. I just shoved it in my school bag. And by mistake, I also threw some books on top of it. And it broke a little here. It was almost cracking. But I saved it with electric tape. Um, yeah, I live by that. There you go, you can see that. Mm, flex tape who? Me, girl. Okay, so they're wireless. I can turn them on and off if I want to. Uh, the battery lasts quite a long, actually, quite a long time actually. Uh, and if I want, I can just use them with the regular aux cord. But my phone doesn't have an aux cord um, port, so I just got the adapter here. It also has the charger thingy. And I used a little tip to know this one's mine because there was another one in my house that no longer is. But anyway, I just kept that. So I'm taking this because uh, in the airport and in the airplanes I actually get real bad like headaches and my ears ring a lot in planes. So I tend to use those just to cancel out the noise. And it's nice to hear some music. I don't know if I'm taking the charger though. Oh, I probably should. My dad's probably taking it. Um, and then over there at my station, little station station with my light highlight. Hi. Okay. So right over there, next to the light, I have a little charging port where my external battery is charging at the moment. So yeah, that's everything I'm actually taking. I don't think I need to take anything else. Um, I was going to take some freebies and stuff to give to people, but my dad was like, no, don't do that. They're going to steal from you. They're going to take advantage of you and try to take stuff from you. And I, I don't even have a bag yet, so if, if I didn't get a bag, where would I take everything I got there? Uh, it's a problem. But yeah, mm, I'm just gonna pack everything up, and I'll see you in a bit. Probably when I'm on my way to the airport, and I'm just gonna do a little montage. Okay, bye. Well, I'm gonna do a voiceover now. Uh, well, basically, that's what I used to the airport, and I was on my way out. Uh, you can't really see anything here, it's just the plane going real fast and it's about to like go up <laughs> and City Dream starts playing in the background now, but for real, it was like a really, really long time so I had to wait and wait and wait and wait
namin nyo and about five six months and it was the worst time I've ever gotten into a meal to be honest I did not feel so big of hectic uh, we got on time but there were like in the automatic machines to get into the country there was a huge line and then I got my like uh, okay to go through but my dad didn't so we had to do this huge line and we got out of there like at 8 a.m. like out of the airport so you can see it's really like it's still so dark outside there there in 3, 2, 1 so by the time we went out of the airport it was a really great song so you know I was gonna pay for that This is me at the train station and then my coffee because I was done. Then we decided to eat some breakfast and then we went to walk. And we decided to go to the Rockefeller Center to the, uh, what's it called? The Nintendo store. But we couldn't find anything we liked. Well, there, was, there was one thing, but I didn't buy it. It doesn't matter. I'm mad. Uh, then we continued walking and some shopping and then I decided to get myself my tea. There's my dad too. Uh, then we took a cab after a huge uh, shopping spree, well not, not a shopping spree, like shopping hunt, I think you can call it, looking for a clear bag, it was impossible right before the concert, so yeah, it was a really long car ride back to Jersey, well, to Jersey, I had never been to Jersey before, and then this is me checking the little clear bag I bought, I bought this Zara, too expensive, but it's real cute. It's real cute. And it's actually going to be really useful. Um, it was uh, not the price I wanted. I wanted so much cheaper, but I didn't have anything at forever or any other place. This is the hotel room. It was the cheapest one. The fun near the venue. This is, uh, I had a little dance break in the bathroom while doing my makeup, but because I don't have a camera and I film on my phone. I couldn't, oh little, what am I doing? I couldn't like film my dance break, but I changed. So yeah, that's the makeup that I did. It's kind of ugly, but mm, it doesn't matter. I felt super cute at the moment. <laughs> now looking back, I look real ugly. I forgot my concealer and I forgot my, uh, uh, what's it called, foundation. It's a whole outfit. And then that's on our way to the venue. From the hotel, it's like a 10 minute car ride. Keep that in mind, please. Oh, uh, yeah. So it was kind of like a... Yeah, it's a minute cab ride, I'll say. Uh, to Jersey. Uh, to go into... What's that area called? It's, uh, what's it called? It's not... South... 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 Something like that. I can't remember and I won't... I don't want to butcher the name. Oh my gosh, and the skin is so big, like so so big. Initially I was recording uh, the parking space and I didn't do that, but oh my gosh, it's so big. And you have to take the like, tunnel from the parking spots to the actual like area of the venue. And there's so many people, so many fan sites, so many stuff, so much stuff. And I couldn't find any of the people that were giving like, free stuff, so I didn't get anything from them. And I didn't find the people that were giving out the giving out the like purple ribbons for your light stick, but I did manage to record uh, this. And as you can see, they were doing the sound uh, sound check, and I wasn't able to get it. Oh, Thank you. 
some of the things I'm just gonna include some pictures of me randomly because the video is over and I don't want to include like actual footage of the video unless someone wants me to you can comment that below but yeah up to that I didn't do much well I did scream a lot and it was a nightmare to get out I think I'm gonna do uh, my action uh, video like detailing my experience at the concert it was amazing but at the same time a nightmare so thank you very much and see you next time bye